couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome beginner lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this lesson, I'm gonna help you with your chord changes. Many of you have written me over the years writing, asking, uh, can you help me with my chord transitions, with my chord changes? So uh, yes, I can and I will and I am. So uh, I'm gonna show you many different ideas and techniques and exercises you can try. Um, you know, everyone has their individual way of learning. So I'm gonna give you as many ideas uh, for exercises that I can give. And by the end of this lesson, you'll have a lot on your plate. You'll be able to work on your chord transitions and ace them and nail them in, I believe, less than a month. So um, before we start, I just want to say that this lesson is sponsored by Meze Headphones. Meze Headphones is a company that makes wooden headphones and they sent me, they were kind enough to send me these headphones, the Deco 11 uh, headphones. They're amazing headphones. Uh, I don't know if you can see, they have wooden casings that surround the headphones and that wooden casing gives it such a rich sound that you won't believe. They're just amazing. I can't describe, you can't describe sound you know you can't describe how a guitar sounds to someone you just say it sounds like a guitar so I can't describe how this sounds you just have to try for yourself these are terrific headphones they also work with smartphones you there's a mic here you can talk um, you can use them as smartphone headphones as well chord changes um, a minor put a minor on if you're a true beginner and you're truly new to the guitar a minor is your basic chord to try chord changes with. Play A minor, you don't have to play it, but you know, this is a video lesson, so why not? Um, a minor, and take these two fingers, the second and third fingers, the middle and ring fingers, if you will, and move them up, up physically, down musically to bass notes, to E minor, okay? Move them up one string together, let go of the first finger and play E minor. This is your very, very basic transition. This is the first chord transition you should try. It's the easiest one. A minor to E minor. A minor to E minor. It's the easiest one because after a couple of minutes, minutes, and I'm saying this after years of teaching, I've seen this happen millions of times. Well, not millions, but hundreds. Um, after a couple of minutes, the change becomes smooth. After just a couple of minutes, you'll find that your two fingers work simultaneously together at the same time. They move in tandem, and you don't even have to think about it anymore. That's your very basic change. Now, um, the next change that I would recommend is A minor to E, okay? Taking the whole chord up, okay? A minor and E, all three fingers, okay? This is the second exercise. Okay, this is just our very basic exercises. Okay, we're moving up in difficulty. Okay, we'll end up on barred chords in this lesson. So, um, A minor to E minor, and then when you're comfortable with that, add the finger for A minor to E. So, after that, try A minor to D minor. Now, <clears throat> the catch with A minor to D minor is that you have to move the third finger from the second fret to the third. You take the A minor chord, you move it down physically, you know, to strings one, two, and three, and you move the third finger from the second to the third fret. So that's the challenge here. A minor to D minor. Okay, work on it until it's comfortable. Once you're comfortable with all three exercises, do this. A minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, E, A minor, okay? Again, A minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, E, A minor. That's your first long exercise. Now, 
The next exercise would be to make a change from um, A to D. Now, um, a lot of you put A like this. I recommend putting A like this with fingers two, three, and four because this would, um, this would get you comfortable with this shape to put barred chords on. Okay, because for barred chords, you'll be using these fingers, so why not getting used to it from the start, from the get-go? So A or A. Okay, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just suggesting. So A to D. Okay, make this transition. This is the next level of difficulty. A to D. Okay, or these fingers. Okay? A to D. And then you can try some sort of variation on the third exercise. Play something like A, D, A, E. Okay, now once you're comfortable with that, let's move on to C chords. The next transition would be from A minor to C. A minor to C is very simple. You take the third finger from the second fret of the third string, you move it to the third fret of the fifth string. Okay, so A minor, C. 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 Once you're comfortable with that, try C to E minor. Okay? This is your first wide transition. Instead of having your fingers bunched together, they're a wide transition from bunched together to wide. So C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor. Now, let's try something else, um, which is the big jump. Uh, try D to E. You should be used to both of them by now. D to E. D minor to E minor. And by now, you'll be getting the hang of it. So let's do C to F and C to G. C to F. To move to F, you start with C, you take these two fingers, the second and third fingers, down physically, one string down, and you put your first finger on strings one and two on the first and second strings, and play it. Now if you want an easier exercise, play F major seven with an open first string, and then one, two, and three. So all you need to do to move from C to F major seven is Play C and then move fingers two and three down a string and you get F major seven. Okay, that's the easier exercise. Play that. And when you're comfortable with this, play C to G or try the full F chord with one on the E string as well. So you have one, one, two, three. Okay, it's a small bar third of a bar. Now this is the beginner F. We have the full F chord, but we'll touch that uh, after we're done with the basic chords. Okay, so C, F, C, F. Then you can try F to D minor. Okay, or F to D. Then try C to G. C, then you take fingers two and three up physically, one string up or one string down musically, two, six and five, string six and five, you add the pinky on the E string, okay, on three, and you have G. I know that many of you do G like this, but A, it pulls your tendons here, it, uh, it is a strain on the wrist, and 
you kind of have the pinky free and it doesn't have anything much to do, you know, you can't do much with a free pinky on a G chord except maybe for this. Okay, but you'd want a free first finger uh, because then you can do, okay, things like this, G sus4. Uh, it's more useful, so use fingers 2 and 3 for the bass notes and the pinky for the E string. It's less comfortable if you are a true beginner, but it's worth it uh, in the long run. Trust me on this. So, G, and it's easier for the C, G transition as well, and for E minor and G as well, as we'll see in the next exercise. So, C, G, C, G, C, G. Next exercise, you can guess it. It's C, G, C, F. C, G, C, F, or C, G, C, F major 7, okay, C, F, C, G, or C, F, C, G, uh, C, C, G, C, F major 7, or C, F major 7, C, G, doesn't really matter as long as you have C in the middle there. The next exercise would be F to G. Now the transition between G and E minor okay, is kind of the same as the transition between C and A minor. Um, from E minor, it's easier from E minor to G as a first demonstration, you take the third finger from two on the fourth string and you move it to three on the bass. Then you add the pinky on the E string. So. you let go of the pinky and you move the third finger from three on the bass to two on the fourth string. Okay, so now we can do a sort of a physical loop here. We can do A minor, C, G, E minor, A minor, and then you can loop it around. We can try House of the Rising Sun, for example. We can do A minor, C, D, F, A minor, C, E. So uh, after you're comfortable with the basic chords, let's go to um, barred chords. Okay, now, um, if you're not comfortable with barred chords yet, I have uh, the ultimate barred chords lesson right here on Lick and Ref. Search for it in the channel and learn barred chords. Now, barred chords, um, the transition between barred chords is just realizing that they're all the same concept. You have a block, okay, let's say B minor. It doesn't matter where you move it. The important thing is to move everything together, okay? Don't change anything. Keep your hand exactly as it is. Try one fret first. Okay, move the whole hand together, okay? As a unit. Also the same for B major. Also the same for E-shaped chords, let's say G. Then try down. Then try two frets. Okay, up and then down. Two frets. Then try three frets. Then try as many frets as you like because when you're able to uh, make the transition smoothly between three frets, you're basically able to do this. Because if you can do a wide distance, you can do a wider distance. Okay, the obstacles are only in your head. If you can do three frets, you can do anything with barred chords. Now, um, the next step with barred chords, which is the last exercise for this lesson, is to do um, barred chord changes on the same fret um, shape wise meaning we take let's say the third fret so it's C minor let's take the A minor shape move it to the E minor shape which is G minor 
on the third fret. Okay, the same first exercises, just with barred chords. So A minor to E minor shape. Then A to E. Then A minor to C. Okay. Then C to E. A to C, okay, and so on and so forth. But if you've reached this point in your practicing, um, then you don't need my help anymore. So I congratulate you for being able to make smooth chord changes. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel. I have tons of lessons to teach you for free right here on Lick and Riff. Everything is for free on Lick and Riff. Um, and all I'm asking in return is for you to share these lessons and spread the word and tell people about Lick and Riff. Anyone who wants to learn guitar is free to use and invited to use my lessons. Um, I'm here to help you learn guitar. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.